Through the 1900s, transport links improved and local towns became more well equipped, attracting more citizens to live all year round and tourists in the less challenging months. Linton, Lynmouth, Porlock and other towns provided diversions and a touch of comfort for the Victorian visitors. But really, since the night's improvements in the 1800s, it's been a gradual process of slow modernization to this very day. Apart from one significant episode, when Exmoor was touched, like pretty much everywhere else, by two world wars. In fact, Exmoor largely escaped the attention of Hitler, but not of Britain and its allies. Large parts of Exmoor became a training ground, particularly for tank regiments. And up on North Hill, you'll still find hard standings where the armed vehicles were parked and inspected. These woods were filled with accommodation huts for personnel, although only some rather curious stone steps remain. You can also see one of the first ever radar stations, groundbreaking technology at the time, positioned to keep watch for enemy vessels or low-flying aircraft that might try and make their way up the Bristol Channel. On an aerial photograph, you can see the tracks the tanks followed. They would roll around these triangular courses, firing at targets pulled on small railways across the valley. Those triangular courses are still visible in aerial photographs today. Some of Exmoor's most ancient and precious history was spared, marked as sites of special interest and not to be fired on. But the farms of Exmoor didn't escape completely. Some were requisitioned for target practice. Even the very last cottage ever built on the site of medieval badgery turned to rubble. And that is how you'll find it today.